50 years ago, Brooklyn teenagers Bonnie Bickwit and Mitchell Weiser planned to hike out to the Summer Jam concert at the Watkins Glen Grand Prix Raceway to see the Grateful Dead, the Allman Brothers, but they never arrived. The couple were last seen leaving Camp Wellmet, which was a popular summer camp in the Catskills region of New York. For decades, friends and family of Bonnie and Mitchell have been working tirelessly to try to find some answers as to what happened. Now, thanks to an article in Rolling Stone magazine, there is a renewed push for the case to be brought back to the forefront. For me, in my work on the Searching for the Lady of the Dunes book, based on the Lady of the Dunes documentary produced by Frank Durant, I had access to letters, correspondence between Frank and convicted serial killer Haddon Clark. In one of these letters, unprompted, Haddon Clark mentioned that he had worked at Camp Wellmet with Bonnie in 1973 and even claimed to possibly be one of the last people to see Bonnie and Mitchell alive. This may just be a convicted serial killer who is a pathological liar seeking to remain relevant. But either way, I sent this information to the Sullivan County Sheriff's Department for a second time now and also reconnected with those who run the website MitchellandBonnie.com, the family and friends who are keeping their memories alive and hopes of the case being solved. The case was seemingly bungled from the start, with malfeasance and possibly incompetence far as the investigation went. And unfortunately, the family ran out of money and the case went cold. Now, 50 years later, it is possible to finally bring some resolution for the family and friends that have suffered for so long. If you have any information, please share it. Go to MitchellandBonnie.com, read the Rolling Stone article, And let's try to bring resolution to the oldest missing teen case in the United States, Bonnie Bickwit and Mitchell Weiser.